Hello and welcome to the next video uh, in which we're going to explain how to install uh, all the different components of Redux server. And today we are going to cover a very important additional component that is our video server. So what you can do with the video server, you can basically stream uh, anything coming from a RTSP or RTPM capable software. And we have two different uh, components that we will explain in uh, the next future. One is Stack ICU that basically is transforming your camera in a device that can stream directly to your uh, FreeTag server server. And the other one is the FreeTag UIS tool that will allow you not only to fly a drone, but also to uh, send the position of the drone to your server and on the same time as well send a video stream. A lot of cool stuff. But in order to do that, we need to install the video server. So let's start with uh, the installation. So <clears throat> to do the installation, we do we need to do several steps. Uh, the first one is to get the installation package from the release page. And then we will get this package on our machine. We will unzip the package or enter. Uh, that is the type of uh, uh, command that is used under Unix uh, to zip things. And then we need to edit the configuration file, that is a YAM file, uh, to set a couple of uh, uh, properties. And then finally, we can configure it to start as a server so that it will start independent if we are logged in in the console or not. Okay, let's begin uh, with the first step. The first step is to connect to our um, server and you see here I have already downloaded it but I'm going to delete it and we need also to know where the the package is located um, and we want to be sure that we get the very last release so that is uh, the home page of this very nice uh, project called RTSP Simple Server it's a very powerful uh, software. And here we get the last release. And we see what we need to do is to get the proper uh, type of release. Uh, and here we are looking for this one. That is RT Simple Server Linux AMD64. Uh, if you have another type of uh, Unix, you may want to go or another distribution package, but that is what we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the link address, and then I'm going to go to WinSCP, and here I can start the console. So in the console, what we want to do is to pass the command to get the package, and now we have the package that has been downloaded. And we can see the package uh, downloaded uh, in WinSCP. So if we refresh WinSCP, we will show uh, uh, Here we go, we have our package. Next step is we want to enter it. So we copy the command and we should have now the two files there. So we have enter the two files uh, by using this command here, tar dash zxvf, and then the name of the file. And we have extracted those two files. And now we can go back to WinSCP. 
and in WinRCP we can edit the YAM file. So WinRCP is really nice because allow you to edit the um, files that normally you will read it in the control uh, in a more comfortable tool. And here I have installed Notepad++, something that is strong recommended everyone to do. In this file, there are three things that we need to do. We need to activate the API. So here under enable HTTP API, we say yes. And then the API address is going to be 000. And we leave the port as is. And the third thing that we want to do is to restrict the protocols to be only TCP. So we can now save and close this file. So the next thing that we want to do is to move those uh, executable file into a location that uh, is more easy to get for uh, uh, Linux Ubuntu. And to do that, we have some commands. The commands are in uh, a uh, tutorial that I will post in the description. So don't be scared, but we go back to the console. And the first thing that we need to do is to make uh, move the accept, executable in the proper place. So we type sudo nv for move, and that is the file that we want to move, and that is the new uh, position, user local bin. And now if we go back to WinSCP and we refresh here, we should see that uh, you know the file is not there. We have only two, the YAM file and the configuration file. So the next thing that uh, we want to do is to move us so the uh, configuration file in the same uh, location. So we type a similar command, sudo move YAM file to user local edge. And now the two files are moved. So finally, uh, we have a very complex command that we need to type, but uh, don't be uh, worried. We will have all of that in the description with a comfortable link for you. This command will create the configuration for the service. And you see here, we have uh, the creation of a new file under uh, edge systemd system blah 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 dot service that uh, is indicating that is the service and that is the configuration of the server itself and now we have created the service in the next step we need to enable the service so we'll type sudo system ctl enable with the name of the service that we are enabling. And finally, we will need to start the service. So we start the service with the name sudo system start with the name of the service. And here we have some kind of an error, so let me double check what is going on. We have a typo, you see the name of the service is uh, not correct. So it's RTSP simple server dot service. So we can type the correct command and the service is now started. To verify if the um, Video servers running uh, as uh, we expect, we can use the API. So the RTSP simple server in uh, its last version has a very nice REST API that we are going also to leverage for our future uh, video tutorial. 
And for now, we only want to see if the API is responding to us. So what we need is the IP of our server, plus uh, we need to remember the port that we are using for the API. That in this case, uh, if you have not changed uh, your configuration is 9997. So the IP of the server you can find in your WinSCP connection. That is what we will do. So we will verify the IP of the server here. And if I say open a new session, I have here my video server demo instance. That is the IP of it. So the IP is 143.1908.39.135. And I can now switch to my uh, main window. That is me. That is the window I want to use. And here I will say, show me the API. And you see, we have a 404 page not found, so the service there is responding, but uh, this API don't exist. And uh, the ATSP uh, simple server has a very nicely documented API, and in future videos we will go in detail of it. But for now, we are happy. We know that we have installed properly the video server and in the next video we will first uh, check out the server with uh, the drone by using the fantastic free uh, us and then we will also use stack icu that is transforming your phone in a streaming camera and sure uh, share that with all your connected network so thank you so much and see you uh, in the next video